Hey everybody, Buzzsaw Gaming here, hanging out with a relaxed Mr. Buzzsaw and Zelda 3, A Link to the Past in the background on the CRT. Here to talk about selling video games. <laughs> kind of a controversial topic, I guess. Uh, but first, a couple admin things. Uh, Mr. Buzzsaw will be at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. September 28 and 29. So if you want, uh, come and say hi to Mr. Buzzsaw. Maybe have a drink. <laughs> Chill out. Uh, we'll be uh, wandering around the floor. <laughs> As Mr. Buzzsaw takes a dive. Looks for some uh, some bugs or some uh, nice rays of sun to chill out. Anyways, as far as selling video games, I mean, I usually don't sell anything. I've just always been that kind of person ever since I was small. Uh, I mean, for example, my last car. I mean, I, I had it for 23 years. I bought it new, and I and uh, I had it till the day it died, and it could no longer be fixed. Uh, parts weren't available. They weren't made anymore. So that kind of gives you an example of my character. Uh, from childhood, I have a lot of old things from childhood. I remember this old ship I got uh, on a trip with my parents when I was very small, and I had a little bit of money, and I bought this ship, and uh, yeah, I still have it to this day, so <laughs> it's an old ship. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, as far as selling, though, I, I, I have sold some parts of my video game collection, and I do have some regrets. I mean, I sold my Super Nintendo collection when I was young. And then later in life, I, I sold my uh, PlayStation 3 collection. So those are two examples right there. I mean, my Super Nintendo, I later bought it back, of course, with the games. And, and uh, you know, that's why I have uh, you know, Zelda playing in the background right there. And, yeah, I had this exact same control set and everything. So I, I re it back. And I have a much larger collection than I did back in the day. So, you know, that's been recovered. Uh, my PlayStation 3, at the time I was living abroad and I had a PlayStation 3 and I had a bunch of cool games and I had a great time with it, but, uh, I didn't want to bring it back to the U.S. because it didn't, wouldn't work. It wouldn't work, the different power supplies and all that kind of stuff, and so I sold everything, uh, when I moved back to the U.S. And, uh, yeah, what I ended up doing is uh, buying a PS3, I bought a PS4. And I got all the games that were, you know, remastered onto PS4, onto my, uh, I mean, remastered from PS3 to PS4 onto my PS4. So I I basically got them all back except for uh, Red Dead Redemption, the original one I don't have yet. But all the other ones, the Uncharted, the uh, Grand Theft Auto, Skyrim, Assassin's Creed, Alien Isolation, all those hits I had on PlayStation 3 and I rebought it on PlayStation 4. And... Oh man, this one was terrible actually. This is Zelda, Ocarina of Time. I went to the store, the game store at the time, a small town I was living in, and I pre-ordered this. The collector's edition, the, uh, the, the Prima strategy guide, I mean everything, I got it on day one. I had it boxed, it was so beautiful, and I sold it, unfortunately. I don't know why, I think I got some money and I bought some original Nintendo games with it, I don't remember. So I had to rebuy that too. I don't have the original case. I just have this replica case and I have the game inside and the manual and that's it, but I don't have my original. So that kind of sucks as well. So, I mean, that's some, some regrets I had. I mean, what kind of regrets do you guys have selling video games? You know, maybe put down below, uh, you know, any comments about that or, uh, you know, or if you just like the video, just put a lizard emoji down below in the comment section. <laughs> I'll be happy to see that too. And I, I respond to all comments. Anyways, I mean, as far as like selling video games, I have sold some other ones. Uh, generally, if I'm no longer interested in playing the game or have no desire to, you know, play it again, I'm not interested in it anymore. I mean, I will sell those games. I mean, uh, you know, those come and go from time to time. And, and also I try to maintain like a low count on my video games, like around 25 games per system. Usually if I want to add a game, I got to sell a game. I kind of try and keep that just so I don't, you know, blow up my collection full of games that I, you know, I never want to play ever again. So, you know, I kind of do that as well. I mean, I can see if I had thousands of games, physical games, you know, and I, I didn't have the room or you're moving or, you know, something like that. I could see the reason for selling. 
you don't want to consolidate, maybe curate your collection, uh, go digital. <laughs> I mean, that's something I don't do, but I know a lot of people do. It's very convenient. So, or maybe just exit the hobby completely. You're done with video games and you know, you're on to, you know, something else. So I don't know, that might be a reason as well, but uh, yeah. Or a major financial disaster. I mean, I've, I've heard that too. Like, uh, you know, problems happen from time to time. And you know, if you got, uh, you know, a good amount of money sitting on the shelves, that that's another, you know, reason I've seen, you know, people sell games because of that. So yeah, I mean, you know, give me your thoughts. I mean, can you sell any games? Would you sell your entire collection? I mean, do you keep games that you don't play? I mean, I'd be curious to hear in the comments, you know, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, if you a game that you don't play at all, I mean, do you, do you sell them? I mean, or do you trade? I mean, do you, or do you just keep them? Just, uh, <laughs> you know, go for full sets and, and stuff like this. I mean, I'd be curious to know, you know, what your guys' thoughts are on that. Um, yeah, I mean, as far as another one that I was looking at too, is like, like right here, I have NBA Jam and I have uh, Raiden right there on TurboGrafx-16. So I was thinking about selling these two games. Uh, but not that I don't like the games, I really do, but to buy them on Atari Jaguar and kind of beef out my Atari Jaguar collection a bit. Because I know they have really good versions of this on the Atari Jaguar. And I can sell these two for a decent amount of money and, uh, and buy them on Atari Jaguar. So that's another option too, like... You know, when you have your collection, you don't want the same game over and over on every platform. And, you know, I kind of concentrate on Atari Jaguar, or I have been, or Atari Jaguar and Turbo Graphics are kind of my, my two main concentrations, I would say, so that I really like and I like to collect for. Uh, also, yeah, my Super Nintendo collection, it's, it's uh, well above 25 games right now, so I'm possibly considering, you know, selling some of those games as well. Uh, the ones that I'm just, you know, I'm just not that interested in, I don't like, or, you know, it's just not, uh, you know, in the top, top games that I like to play that I have feel nostalgia for and put that money towards a 32X system. I was thinking about getting a 32X and maybe the top five, top 10 games of 32X, so something like that. So, I mean, that's another option too, right? When you're, uh, when you're consolidating your game library and, and all that, so... Yeah, so anyways, about selling video games, I mean, what are your guys' thoughts? I mean, is this, I know some people have <laughs> have tragedies and have absolute horror stories of everything from childhood being sold and being forced to sell it or just being thrown out or, you know, just, you know, absolute horror stories like that. If you have one, I'd be curious to hear what your story is on selling games. I mean, you know, it's something that... Uh, you know, I reluctantly do from time to time, but uh, for the most part, I've been lucky that I've, you know, been able to maintain most of my stuff, and and I, you know, I really enjoy it because I, I like this, uh, <laughs> I like this hobby. I like the cardboard. I mean, I, I admit the cardboard is expensive. I like the manuals. I like the boxes. I mean, I just, I just like all of that. I mean, I've always been that kind of person. I really enjoy it. You know, it's 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 a fun for me. Uh, you know, having the game just digitally or, or, or whatever, or just having, you know, everything loose card, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as meaningful for me. Although, uh, you know, it doesn't mean it's not meaningful, obviously. So anyways, hope you guys are having a wonderful summer. You know, please let me know your thoughts below. And uh, yeah, if you're coming out to the uh, Portland uh, Retro Gaming Expo, come and say hi to Mr. Buzzsaw. Uh, have a wonderful day.